it's blue. You don't deserve nothing, so you don't get nothing. You didn't earn nothing, you don't get nothing. Right or wrong? I'm here to tell you, that's 100% right, as far as I'm concerned. You don't deserve nothing, you don't get nothing. You know what? I'll tell you. These people, employee of the month, employee of the year, at jobs that pay them money you couldn't believe people still get paid. You don't deserve nothing, you don't get nothing. But if you take that plaque, that pat on the ass, that parking spot in the front, and you think you're doing something, then you go right ahead because that's what you get and that's what you deserve. But if you employ of the month, how many months is there in a year? 12. If you got January through December, I have no sympathy for you. If you have not learned as being as good an employee as they're telling you that you are, I have no sympathy for you not climbing the scales and climbing the rails to get up to higher pay with more responsibility. Some people don't want more responsibility. They'll settle for that pay as long as they ain't got to do no more than what they know. No, nope, let me just do this. I take out trash. I sweep up the flow. I clean out the toilets. I don't want to be on fries. Fries take you up $3 an hour. I don't care. That grease hot. You smell like french fries all day. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. You don't get nothing at all. And you don't deserve it. And if you're okay with that, you're just an odd person to me. Because if you are, like I said, employee of the month, January through uh, damn December, there's something you know to why you're getting that recognition. And you should be using it to climb the ladder and go to the next level and the next pay grade. Your pay should increase. Your responsibility is going to increase. But nine times out of ten, if you've been that good that long and they keep recognizing you and there's other people that work around you, you probably can handle it. You can handle it. You can handle it. Say a little prayer. Stick your chest out. Put your chin up. Put your little stupid ass employee of the month ribbon on. All 12 of them. And go in there like a damn general. And tell people what the damn do. I'm, I'm sure they probably started out telling you what to do. But damn it. January through December. You've been recognized as employee of the month. And if you don't take the next level to go and try to gain some of the money that the company probably making off of you. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You know, I don't think I have ever changed my opinion in the fact that what do we, what do you, how long would you stand in the, on the picket line fighting for the raise of minimum wage? How long you been getting paid minimum wage? If you get minimum wage, for more than two months, and you ain't start reading a book, taking a class, studying a manual, asking for more responsibility, or asking somebody in a position higher than you, higher than you, how to get out of the situation you're in where you can make more money and get a better job, doing less grotesque, demeaning crap, you don't deserve nothing, you don't get nothing. You're going to wash that fucking, you're going to wash that damn fast food shirt till the damn color come out of it. It's faded with them black ass pants and them black ass shack shoes and keep coming into work, dragging into work with that same dirty ass apron on. And you expect somebody to give you more money and you're doing the same thing? As long as you show up, you expect something to change. But you ain't going to do nothing different. No more, no less. You, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy.
people who have worked, I hope there's no controversy with me using the name, people who have worked at Walmart have gained stock and being Walmart employees long enough to where they own stock in Walmart and use that to get managerial positions. I applaud that. But they started out in the boxes, unloading boxes, working incredible hours, working on holidays that nobody else would, doing stuff they probably would hate to have to do now, but that's how they started. That's not where it ended because they wanted more and they got more. You know why? Because they didn't quit. And they knew that they deserved something, so they went out and earned it. But yeah, at some point they were getting paid money that, yeah, nobody should get paid or not get paid long. Not if you got any aspirations to do anything. You start one way, but you just don't finish that way because that means you're sitting still. I'm not going to pay you for coming in to work when all you do is just the bare minimum. That's why they designed 70, per 70 percentiles because that's the bare minimum. We're going to keep people at the bare minimum because some people have no, no desire to move forward or move ahead. Those people are going to have jobs picking up shit and, and shit. Picking up shit and shit. Those people are, have jobs with their name on it and they're dirty a lot. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not all jobs, but sometimes. But when you aspire to do more, you can take that job for now. And I'm going to keep reminding whoever in the next spot ahead of me, I'm coming for your job. Don't take no offense. I'm going to ask you questions to take your job. Don't, don't be offended. So I hope you have you don't have intentions of being in this position long because I intend to move up. And I hope you are too. Because there ain't going to be two of us in the same spot. And that shirt mighty tight on you. <laughs> that shirt mighty tight on you. So you probably been in this spot way longer. So you probably need to boost. You probably need to push. Everybody needs somebody sometime to push them and let them know, hey, you've been here too long. You've been sitting still too long. You've been idle, what they call idle. You've been sitting idle too long. You need to know that uh, somebody coming to move you. So go ahead and get prepared to move. Grease your wheels so you'll roll easier out of this fucking desk, out of this damn chair, and on to the next spot. If not, then you take my spot and go back, and I'll go forward. Because I'm not going to wait on you, and I'm not going to share the spotlight. Not when it's my turn. No, 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 no. But if you don't deserve nothing, you don't get nothing. And there's no need for you to fight for somebody to give you something because you're doing the bare minimum. That's all you get. That's all you deserve. 